we're here today because uh, of what the Labour Party's done to butcher the most widely accepted definition of anti-Semitism, the IHRA definition. The Labour Party example has cut out the clause that says uh, Israel is a racist endeavour, so you can say that in the Labour Party now uh, without being uh, punished for anti-Semitism. You can compare Jews to Nazis without being punished for anti-Semitism. It's an absolute disgrace and uh, the fish rots from the head. It's Jeremy Corbyn who's responsible, uh, Seamus Milne who's responsible, and it's an absolute disgrace. Look, we're here to stand up and say that Jeremy Corbyn is in fact an anti-Semite, and the Labour Party is in his name, is the fish rots from the head. And, and too many people in the community and our leadership have been scared to call him out. He's all dancing around saying, well, Jeremy Corbyn might know some anti-Semites, or he might... The guy is an anti-Semite. What he does is anti-Semitic and he encourages other people to come forward. If you're a friend of anti-Semites, you are an anti-Semite. Look at all the people he's supported. Stephen Sa Sizer, it goes on and on and on. Hamas, Hezbollah, they all want to kill Jews and he supports them. I find it truly astonishing, the latest developments. The idea that uh, that Labour is, is ignoring the widely held definition of anti-Semitism because it believes it knows best. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. You're supposed to say the next bit, never mind. <laughs> So we've just had a good, you know, not a good demonstration, I suppose, three to four hundred people here. But the question I've been asking myself all day, it's very simple. If this had been a similar situation for any other minority, any other group of people, how many people would you have had in Parliament Square? And I can answer the question for you. You wouldn't have got anywhere near Parliament Square because any other minority would have attracted a great deal more people. And it's quite sad, really. I'm here today to, sh to, show, to show solidarity with our Jewish friends over the anti-Semitism of the Labour Party. So I'm here today because I've seen the political party I joined at the age of 16 being taken over by a group of people who at best are currently serving as accessories to anti-Semitism because their silence, legit, their silence, and actually it's gone more than silence. This, this week we've seen the, an NEC reject the voice of the Jewish community and attempt to water down anti-Semitism so that many in the Labour Party, I would also ascribe it, say that the leadership of the Labour Party, don't fall into established definitions of anti-Semitism. This morning I was reading a series of tweets about the reaction to, uh, to Dame Hodges' resignation and, uh, and what she said to Jeremy Corbyn. And one of them was, here we go again, false charges of anti-Semitism. Margaret Hodge, why don't you just fuck off back to Israel? Now my question is, if somebody had made an allegation uh, as a black person of racism, against Jeremy Corbyn and they'd had a tweet saying why don't you fuck off back to Africa or why don't you fuck off back to the Caribbean wouldn't that be racist and why isn't it racist to say that to a Jew yet it is racist to say that to a black person or a person of any color or a person of any other religion zero tolerance for anti-semitism 